Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Hi. Ruben. This is Rusty, and today we're doing Drawing for Beginners. Yes, and we're going to um, be using some of the techniques we learned mm -hmm. and uh, some of the tricks. And um, today I thought we could apply what we've been learning by doing robots. Yeah. Because robots are fun to do. Oh, yeah. I personally like to draw musicians, mm -hmm. you know, music guys. I like to play guitar players, drummers. Maybe I'll do a robot playing the drums. But you might have some ideas of what you could do with a robot. Yeah, I just want to, you know, practice using the techniques. And I know drawing robots is fun. And I can, you know, work on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Great. Uh, so, OK, so you guys out there, you remember what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to find a pencil or a pen, get some paper, and draw along with us. Mm -hmm. And since we're drawing robots today, it's required that you draw a robot. Sounds good. At least one. Evan. And it could be doing anything. Yeah, go okay. ahead. So Evan says, hi, Teacher Rusty, good morning. So hello, Evan. Um, morning. Do we need color pencils? We can't use them. Oh, yeah, you could use color pencils. We can't because we have to use charcoal so you can see what we're doing. Otherwise, you shows just up. have to. Shows up weird. It um, shows we're really drawing on this program. Good. Uh, Jacob says good morning and a hi from Lance. Yeah, hi. Hello, everybody. Glad you can make it. Hey, guys. This is awesome. All right. We done with this? Yeah. You ready to draw? Oh, wait. No, keep it. Keep it. They must get to see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. This is. Yeah. This is, this is very special. This is every, every time. Every time we do this. There we go. Boom. That's us. That's me. It's my hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Hi. So this view is perfect so that you can see when we're drawing and we can say hi, we can see our faces and stuff. So this is very good. So are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're tearing the page off as we speak. Cool. Now there's a couple things here. The techniques we learned is from the draw squad. Draw squad. That's Commander Mark there, right there. He's the commander of the draw squad. And you can get this book on Amazon. It has structured drawing lessons, which are really great because you learn the techniques of drawing. That's where I learned to draw. Mm -hmm. And this book is uh, another reference book that's really good. This is a dictionary. It's actually a glossary of art terms. It's Natalia's sketchbook. And you can get it through Heron Books. And uh, it's really good because it has real simple definitions. Just a simple thing. And it, it's like a workbook. And this definition is easel. See, can you see it? Yeah. Good. And there's an easel and it says an upright support for holding a canvas or other surface while an artist works on it. So you guys probably already knew what an easel was, but it's in the book. And it's good to have a dictionary or a glossary of art terms because some of the terms in regular dictionaries aren't art definitions. And art definitions sometimes have a very specific definition. Yeah. And it's good to have that yeah, when sure. you're doing art. And the easel, which is this if you're a real artist you do your pictures on an easel because real artists do their pictures on an easel have you ever done a picture on an easel i guess not <laughs> well someday not artists, right? yeah no no, no. once i get better at drawing i'll do it okay let's draw all right so i'm gonna draw today too so i don't want yeah, you guys to feel too bad out there when you see my drawings and like feel inferior because mm. you're not no artist is inferior. You know, I mean, it's like, don't compare your art to other artists. Are you, are you hyping yourself up right now? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I don't want anybody to feel bad, you know? <laughs> okay. but we're gonna be using the draw squad here. Are we gonna be in six to six and using some of the techniques we've been learning, like 
for shortening. If you guys remember that, it's like, I don't even have to use the dots. Usually you put a dot there and a dot there, you know, to go zoop and zoop like that. Mm -hmm. And then in a square, it's, I'll do the head of the robot here. Uh, a square is like there, let's see. Well, yeah. Okay, so here's the square. You remember you put the dots, boink, 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 right? And mm -hmm. then you go whoop, 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 like that, yeah. right? And then you make like the little two short ones and one longer line. And that gives you four short and square and makes it into a box. And this could be made into a circle whoop, like that. Yeah. Looks you more remember fun. all that, right? Yeah. Looks more and then we learned about surface, which is making this line longer than these two lines. And same thing here. And then go way down towards the bottom of your paper like that. Yeah. Okay. That was the first one. Were you yawning? No, it was not yawning. Oh. And anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, then that's the next thing here, surface, remember that? We're yeah. just reviewing a little bit. And then shading, that's what really makes things look three-dimensional, when you shade. And you can use scribble shading, it's fine. Right? Yeah. And then you have to do, you know. Yeah. Exactly. And then, you know. Yeah, you can use your finger to like that. Okay, so you say, how are you going to make that into a robot? Well, I'm not because it's too messy. Yeah. But you got shading and then you got shadows, right? Is that what you were trying to say? No. Yeah. So we're going to use all these techniques. Good. All right, so let's look at the chat real quick. Um, all right, so I saw Oakley taught me real life skills and stuff, teaching me table manners. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Uh, Rusty was teaching me during science, I think. No, that was, that was Marty. Um, how do you spell easel? I got to look in the book. I know. E A S E L. Easel. Um, yeah. Go Good. Ahead, ready, okay, well, we got all those questions answered. So let's use some of these techniques. So. When you draw, there's one important thing you should remember, and that is rule number one. Oh, don't. I actually got this time. This is my third time. Are you ready? Never be careful. Yeah, don't be careful. Yes! <laughs> I actually I did that time? Yeah! That's right. Because yeah. when you're careful, you don't do your best drawings. It's like when you just don't care and you're just drawing, you do great. Yeah. So let's not be careful. Okay, you guys ready to start? Yes, sir. Let's start drawing. So robots shouldn't look like people. They should look like robots. So remember that. Boom. Genius. So, and a good way to not make them look like people is to give them a square head. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you draw your robot? I'm going to draw my robot, my first robot. Mm -hmm. What I like about robots is, is that you can accessorize them. You could like add all kinds of little gadgets on them that make them work. Okay, so this is a pretty square head. Yeah, okay. But you can add things to them. Right? Like yeah. little radio controller things. Mm -hmm. See how uncareful I'm being? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're very, you're, you're just very careful. Okay, now eyeballs. I'm going to make round ones on this machine. And I think that when you make the eyes closer together, they look cuter. I mean, I'm making mine. Oh, look, yours is good. Make mine yours look is good. a lot more three dimensional than mine. I make mine look dangerous. But when I add shading, that'll help my three dimension thing you know what I mean yeah I have to you do guys that. don't forget to um, think about some of the techniques you know because that usually you start drawing you don't even think about techniques you just think I'm drawing I'm drawing and you just draw which is good actually that's not being careful okay so eyeballs inside the eye sockets 
Now you got to be thinking about your drawing, like when you're drawing, like what makes this robot have power? You can hook them up to a battery. Oh yeah. You could hook them up to. Oh, because they need you're right. Huh? They need power too. They need some power. You know, you could hook them up to a whatever. Boop, boop. There you go. So you know, you got to have some buttons and stuff like that. Remember, don't be careful. <laughs> you know, I actually remember this time. It's my third time. I know, I know. I remember I'm... this time. Third time's a charm. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I'm coloring in with charcoal. I think this guy needs a mouth. Yeah, that's kind of good. I'm going to give this guy a little bit of a screen here that you could see his power pack. That was literally what I was doing. I'm not even kidding. Look. Ah, that's what I was doing. You copied me. No, no. I copied you. I know you're going to add flames. <laughs> okay, there's his screen. Now he needs arms. It's not a very big arm. What do robots eat? I I forgot. Mm, batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, um, do we have any comments from yeah, let's check it out. kids at home? How they're doing? Maybe they're still looking for a pencil or a pen. I really like using the Sharpie myself. I, charcoal's okay, because you can see it well, but. Yeah. How do you say I like this? those. Yeah. Hello from Pakistan. Lily says, I'm not home, so I can't do art. That's all right, Lily. Um, it's too bad. Jackson says, I'm drawing a, a Majori's mask from Legends of Zelda, Breath from, of the Wind. So that's a video game. To him. He's oh, wearing cool. a mask from the That's awesome, Jackson. Good job. Aubrey says hello. Hello, Aubrey. Hello, Hadia. Lily. That's all right. Lily now says, Lily says, now I'm home. Good. All right. Go grab a piece of paper and pencil and come draw with us. Quick. Quickly. All right, here. We're just drawing. We're way ahead of you. We're drawing robots. You should name your robot. This one I'm going to call. Uh, Toro. <laughs> I kind of like that. That is actually a good name. That's a really good name. Yeah. Um, He's made from, you know, they make a, a lawnmower that's a Toro. But it's also a car, I think, right? Toro means bull in Spanish. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Well, I don't know if it means bull, but they do say it when they talk about bulls. <laughs> so I would. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can't make robot fingers look like they're real fingers. They have to look kind of mechanical because robots can't have real fingers, and at least not yet. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little power pack right on this guy's arm so that he can uh, control that arm better, you know, with hydraulics. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's fine. Put a little hose here. See, that's what's cool about robots. You can accessorize them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could like, like you could make a little battery pack underneath here. Put a couple batteries in. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how a lot of things work. I don't even know how TV works. Really? Yeah. So, you know, you got to make up stuff. So you sort of become more familiar with gadgets and things. Because a TV is sort of a gadget. Computer's a gadget. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you got to get a little more gadgety. And drawing's a really good way to kind of 
you know, you don't know if it really works, but at least, you know, you guys see the battery pack here? Oh. Batteries. I'm putting a little shading in there to make it look more rounded. Shading is such a good tool to make things look rounded. Toro's looking pretty good. He's done, huh? Yeah. And there's the sun. So there's... My guy doesn't have legs yet. Do you see the shadowing? you see the shadowing? Yeah. I'm clean that. That's the body of the... Robot. Yours looks great. Thank you. He's a different kind of... Name a war robot. robot than Toro. Yeah, Toro's. Yeah. Toro's like more of a... Um, I don't know. He could probably mow your lawn or <laughs> <laughs> clean your house, brush the dog. You know, wouldn't it be cool to have a robot that could do lots of chores around the house for you? Yes. You know, walk the dog, Toro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Toro looks like he could entertain you because he could be playing the piano. You know what I mean? He could be a musical guy. Looks good. Okay, I don't want to get too involved. We'll, <laughs> we'll do more. But he could be a piano player. He would be a good piano player. How you doing? Me? Yeah. I'm good. Good. I so, so. Um, anyway. Comments say robots eat nuts and bolts. That's what Aubrey said. That is true. I mean... They eat nuts and bolts? Yeah, do they? Yeah, Good. actually. We um, could have a little dish of nuts and bolts here for them to munch on while he's playing the piano. Hmm. What do you think about that? Yes. And I'll make them kind of 3D this time. There's a bolt. I like it. A uh, couple nuts here. Okay, so we're gonna switch papers here. We'll come back to, I wanna write Toro's name on it. T-O-R-O. -O. Toro could actually stand for something. Um, tight, oranges, required, uh, Oxygen. On. Tight oranges required on. Mm. Toro. Toro. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call mine. Zeus. That's a good name for him. He looks like a little Zeus guy. Yeah. I like it. All right, comments. Um, hi. Hi. Oh, man. That's so good. I... I I hate like I have pronounced names. Sometimes I'm just gonna mess them up. Um, Harprakash, 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 Harprakash. Hi, it's good. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Sorry if I messed up your name. Um, An Anaya says you could draw clothes on your robot. What? I personally want to keep him like that. I think he should have a tuxedo because he's a piano playing robot. What do you think? Yes. All right, Jake, Jacob says I made a party robot. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Yeah, me too. Okay, so I'm taking this Toro oh. and paper thing Go ahead. off. Ready? Yep. Oops, sorry. Gone. Um, okay, so we're ready to do some more drawing, more robots, because, you know, one robot isn't enough. You need more. I'm going to do, I did a musical robot. I did a... Yeah, you did. You got any more ideas? I did a war robot. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's think. Well, let's draw some more. We'll use uh, shading. Is such a good, yeah. Let's do a cityscape with ro like robots. Okay. Like, like walking around and stuff. Yeah. It's like. I like it. Start. Here's the street. Here we go. We're doing our little cityscape of robots. You know, drawing takes a little while, so sometimes it's not the most entertaining thing to watch, but it sure is fun to do. 
Whoop. Whoop. I don't know, I like these antenna things. <clears throat> How big's your robot? Oh, you're doing the city. I'm doing my city. Cool. You can add if you want, but. He says, what? I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, drawing fast is really a good thing to know to do because the faster you can draw, it's fun when you draw with somebody else because you're fast, you know? You're not being careful. Being careful. This guy's huge though. What is that? A little robot flying? Yeah. <clears throat> this guy, see it's hard to do the city. Uh, don't you think? We're going to have different size robots. Okay. Um, I like making these battery packs. They're fun. Good noises. This guy is just going to be flying through the air. Got his robot shoes on there. Ooh, I'm coming. <laughs> coming over to see you. <laughs> you know, artists, they invent things. Once you start drawing something, it catches on, you know, it becomes sort of your idea. But when you first start, you don't know what you're doing, you know? You're just kind of playing. Playing is good. You have the right to play, and it's really a good thing to do. Woo, you got him climbing up the side of the building? You're good. This guy's coming over, but he needs a mouth. Hmm. You know what's neat is make a little screen. It's like a, a mask. Oh, he's jumping over. He's just flying. Oh, I'm going to make a little cloud. I'm going to make a... Hey, you're on my side. No. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cloud. Okay, guys, what do you think of my cloud? You know, we're both really different artists, you know, different yeah. drawers. Ooh, nice helicopter. It looks like a shark helicopter. I'm gonna make a little robot dog. What did I even, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I gave him like a third arm. That's okay. No one will notice. Well, what are you guys drawing out there? Are you getting some good ideas from us? Let's check and see. Oh. Anybody getting any good ideas? Yeah, so Nancy asked, does Zeus have any electric lightning powers since he's Zeus? Uh, <laughs> yes, he does. He can shoot s static electricity um, and ray shock people's hair. Ian says Toro. Yeah. Gerard says I named my robot SAR. S A R. SAR. It stands for, oh my goodness. <laughs> Songo Bulating Automatic Robot. See, you guys are a little more creative than us. Yeah, you are. I mean, you but we're not bad. Liliana says I made a monster robot. 
And Gerard said it's eating a dish of batteries. What do you think? What do you think you like it? Yeah, yeah. what do you think? Do you like it? Yes, I do like it, Gerard. Um, Lily says I'm drawing a robot with a mask. Good job, Lily. Nice. Being My safe. mask looks kind of dorky. Milo says I'm drawing a mean robot. <laughs> All right. A what? Mean robot. <laughs> and Nancy says I'm drawing a clear toaster rob uh, robot. Oh, uh, yay. Yeah. That is actually kind of You know, of cool. you could actually make a robot out of a toaster. Really? Sure. Why not? Put some wheels on it. Oh, in the code and like make you do stuff. Put Come a little in. battery pack on it. Maybe a lever that you could turn it off. That's true. That's true. Okay, well, here's our next drawing. I don't know. Yes, I like that. I'll put my thing down there. Boom. My robot dog looks a little weird, but I think <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it had a dog. You know a dog. Yeah, that's sick. Is it flying over too? Yeah, I don't think he looks quite like a robot though. I gotta fix him up a bit. If you ever do a drawing that doesn't come out like great in your opinion, you can always like fix it up. And sometimes the ones you fix up are the best drawings you've done. Yeah. Because you put a little more into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of make it work. It'll work. Aubrey says she made a robot with a dog, and her robot's name is Lolo. Lolo. I like That's it. That's awesome. I made a bad robot, Jacob says. Nice. I did too. That's you, my bad robot. You mean it doesn't look good? Uh, or it's man. like mean? It might be me. I, Jacob, <laughs> clarify. Mine's just mean. Drawing Which one? The one the climbing. Tower. Oh, the one you said bad. Nice. Nice. Hopper, hopper cross. He's making a war on top of the tower. I drew a cat robot. Nice. I'm drawing robots fighting. Mateo says that. That's cool. So I said there's a good problem with the internet. It's all right, Evan. They welcome back. Uh, mean. Jacob says mean. Mean robot. And Chantel says I'm drawing a robot elephant. My robot has a bolt bow. That is sick. That is actually so cool. I didn't even think a about what? That. A bolt bow, like a bow. That's oh a yeah. Bow. See, let's do it. Let's do some work. Take your stuff off there. Got it. All right, more robots. More. New robots. Okay, so this is Toro's co cousin. Um, here, who's a girl robot? You're drawing the girl robot. Uh huh. Okay. You draw too. I'm trying to think about what I want to draw. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'll about. tell you, thinking is not good. <laughs> <laughs> you should just draw while you're thinking if you want to think. Boom. Remember that this is my side, that's your side. <laughs> I guess I'm, you know. You're not wrong. I don't know. Maybe this will be a girl if it has girl eyelashes. <laughs> you know, I think people, when they build robots, they kind of want sort of to look like people so people won't be really afraid of them. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. So. I wouldn't get afraid, but like, you know. No, you wouldn't? Not really. I don't think so. Well, you're braver than most. <laughs> Mine kind of, mine's end up looking like, uh, you know, people. Like, this looks like a person, know, an animal. See, it's really Tim. Is that an elephant? Yeah. Robot? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta add more details to it. It better be a robot. Yeah. Because we're drawing robots. You you can't go drawing something else. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. With mouth. When I have freckles. Mm. <laughs> 
This looks like an astronaut, not a robot. It's like a face on a volleyball. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have his legs. We're just busy drawing here while you guys are out there drawing there. And we're having a good time drawing. We're using some of our techniques, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of. Shadow. It's hard to think about techniques when you're drawing because you're just drawing. But it helps. But afterwards, you can throw the techniques in if you want. Here's my robot. You're way faster than me. This is not adding so much detail. This isn't much detail. But I am using some of the techniques. I can't help it because I know them. I know them. This guy, you gave me a good idea that this is a basketball or a soccer ball. Volleyball. Volleyball, so I'm making it so. Here I'm making the noises to draw, the drawing noises. See, he has his little soccer ball thing. I mean, volleyball thing. It, he's kind of holding this weird. Maybe he should have another hand out here. Did you drop your uh, charcoal? Yeah, I Thank got you. it. Oh, wow, that's sick. That actually looks so cool. Huh? Is he holding the volleyball thing? Yeah. That is cool. Mine is a, oh, I know what I'm going to do. So this, so this is going to be the outside, but there's going to be a little inside. They need to see through. It's a see through robot. And it's going to be a person. There's a screen, he's watching a screen, person sitting here in a chair. Well, you guys, what do you think? Watching this screen because he is viewing from this camera right here. This guy kind of has a camera nose. I like it. <laughs> and we're gonna be viewing baby elephants. See, we're not too proud to draw. So mine is for viewing animals in the real. Mine life. is examining this weird volleyball. <laughs> I like it. Taking pictures of it with his camera nose. Camera nose. Anyway, we're, we're pretty good at drawing robots. Uh, let's check the Q and A. I'm drawing a earth robot, Chantel says. Nice. Ooh, Adira says, is that a dog? This is four minutes ago. So obviously she can tell now that it's an elephant. <laughs> it looks like a monkey. Dang, okay, okay. Thank you, Mateo. My sister Daisy says robots are weird. Hmm, really? That's Milo. That's funny, that's interesting. My robot has a bolt ring. Nice, Tarini. A what? A bolt ring, like a ring made of a lightning bolt. Oh, a bolt ring. Yeah, yeah. Well, I drew a puppy robot walking around with a normal robot on a leash. Nice. Well, we like robots. Uh, we're inventing a few here. Robots, you know, I mean, they, they could have little uh, chips in them that make them sing or yeah. dance, you know? Yeah. Depending on the kind of robot you depends want. On what, yeah, it depends on what you want to draw. This robot is sitting. Because he's examining this weird volleyball. 
He's like, yo, gotta take a picture of this for my nose. <laughs> That's right. You know, there's a really good, there's a few good, I don't know, there's one good robot drawing book out there. If you want to find one, it's actually really good. It shows a lot of the gadgets you can add to a robot. And they really have some cool stuff. If I had the book, I could see what kind of gadgets they have, which yeah. is helpful when you're drawing a robot to see some cool gadgets. I always put little boop boop things on the bottom of their shoes. Yeah. That way they have better traction, you know. Boop, boop. There. A like little horizon. Hey, horizon line. Oh, whoa. You could have the same one for my robot. There. Perfect. Get some grass. This robot's in the park. Little flower. Remember, guys, don't be careful because when you're careful, you get too serious and, you know, then you get mad at your drawing because it didn't turn out exactly like you thought it would. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you say, I'm never going to draw again, ever. But if you play around, you just don't care. You know, you're just drawing. That's the best. That's really fun. Just drawing. Just drawing. <laughs> and when you get some techniques, here, I got to erase this. Um, when you get some techniques down, uh, people think you're really good. Because we are. Because you are. Duh. Okay, well, here's another great drawing you know boom my camera nose isn't that great maybe if it had a little circle in it it would be better maybe should have an elephant nose like mine kapow bum bum ba -da 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 -bum -bum. this little dude here well cool well we're marching down here we i think we have time for one more drawing you want to do one of course yeah we have time for one you're more. not like bored or anything no of course not I love okay <laughs> me too Okay, how about a tree with some robots in it? <laughs> do it, let's do it. <laughs> okay, can I draw the tree? Yes. I'm actually pretty good at drawing trees. I love to draw trees. Yeah? I'll make some nice branches coming out so that we can put our robots on them. See, I didn't forget that we're doing robots. I didn't get off track. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for a tree? Now we need some foliage. You know, leaves. Yeah. I'm just doing real simple leaves. I'm not getting really into it, like making great detailed leaves. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Okay, let's put them robots on there. Alrighty. You have this side of the tree, I have no, you have that side, I have this side. I'm just still making a few leaves here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. You got to make do with what you got. Like, I mean, if you're home and all you have to draw on is an envelope or something you found, you know, like a piece of paper that nobody wants and threw in the garbage, you could recycle it by drawing a great drawing on it. And someday, somebody will find that drawing and go, my God, here's one of the drawings that he did when he was a child. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I pursue... And, and you'll have people studying it. Because you'll be the best. Cause, yeah, because you'll be famous. Famous artist. Okay, we're not going to shade this tree. We're just going to draw a few little robots sitting in it. These are like fairy robots. You know what I mean? Yeah. They like live out in the world pretty soon you start figuring out how to draw a robot you know what i mean it's like oh yeah i know how to draw a robot they're sort of look uh, like this yeah no uh, yeah this is like my little robot this is my robot doop, doop. Doop, doop. And you see how uncareful i am being yeah doop, doop. 
It's actually fun to be uncareful. I mean, careful, not careful. I'm just a robot sitting in a tree with my knee on my branch and I'm bothered by a bee. Whoop, 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 whoop. There's the bee. See, now we're really getting creative. If we had another half hour to do this, we'd be like really doing some stuff. Right? That would be permanent so robot. Drawing. I'm going to put a little bird up here with my robot because he's friends with the birds. They're not afraid of him because they think he's a tin can. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to draw a tin can. Oh, you are? In the tree? Yeah. Good idea. Uh, this is a leg. See, I am using drawing techniques, believe it or not. I think. There's one robot in the tree with a bee and a bird. <laughs> this is a great drawing, you gotta admit it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. I gotta... It's a little funny. You know, there's 10 techniques in the draw squad. And if you learn those 10 techniques, you can really draw three dimensional things so much better and you just got to use them, you know? Yeah. We've only done like four on the thing. We only, mm. we only did. Was there really only four? Yeah. I thought it was three. There's more techniques. We, oh. we, we got shadows, shading, For shadows. surface and foreshortening. Those are four. Oh, yeah, right. So I guess we did four. Did I say three? Yeah. Yeah, we did four. Okay. So I'm going to make a little robot down here. How much time we got? Uh-oh. Two minutes? We only got two minutes, but we're going to continue on with our drawing, maybe. <laughs> I wanted to make a robot playing the guitar. So anyway, thank you guys for coming in. And do you have any questions? Is there any? Uh, more like comments. Or comments? Kids, yeah. They what said are they I like, saying? I like drawing robots. Really? Yeah. I do too. I think it's so much fun to draw robots. Me too. Vivian said mine is called Sherwood 1.0. Nice. <laughs> and then Nancy says drawing noises. <laughs> Here's my robot. He's playing the guitar. That is actually really cool. Well, thank you. You have incredibly great taste. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys keep drawing robots and if you want, but you can go on to other things. Like I really was tempted to change from robot. That's a cute little robot tin can. Thing. Yeah, it's just a chill out tin can. It's um, Chef Boy RD. So we enjoy doing these and uh, we're having fun here. I hope you guys can, we're just continuing on because you know, time's not up yet. Uh, we're, I'm drawing some strings on my guitar playing robot down here. And maybe I'll draw a horse. I like to draw horses too. I actually like to do landscapes and stuff. Really? Yeah. You guys know what a landscape is? It's probably in this book. We got easel and in the glossary book. The Tasha's sketchbook, a glossary of our terms. And let's see if landscape's in here. It better be. Uh, uh, snow caps. L A N D. Should be in the front. L A, ah, landscape painting. Here it is. A landscape painting. Paintings in which scenery and nature are the subject matter. That's usually what I do. I, I love doing that because I like to make gates. To me, that's fun. And so a landscape is that. Oh. And then above it, it says, oh, land art, which is a different definition of something else. 
But anyway, we've really enjoyed being with you guys. Yeah. And uh, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you again. Yes, sir. No, yes. Um, so we're going to go over something real quick. Thanks for zooming us. All right. So you can buy Natasha's um, book, her sketchbook um, at heronbooks.com. Uh, thank you guys for joining the class. This is a lot of fun teaching you guys and uh, drawing robots with you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's been great. <laughs> it has been. All right. Signing off. Thank you very much. Adios. See you guys later. Yeah.